guys so after uh, welding up my uh, my PK fence today I did start to wonder how flat the uh, the weld actually was anyway so this is my uh, PK tabletop and um, I wanted to uh, do a quick little video on uh, how to uh, measure up using a, a nice flat surface. I don't have at home a granite surface plate to do measuring off of so next best thing is this PK tabletop. Anyway there is quite a bit of rust marks and you can feel them. So a lot of them, and these are little paint marks the table saw wasn't super taken care of over the years. Anyway, so I'm just going to give you a quick uh, lowdown on how to uh, measure up something using a flat surface. Now, I have to assume for this video that this surface is going to be flat enough. Anyway, so For argument's sake, I've got my uh, little uh, video stand set up, and uh, I'll give you a little lowdown. So, to start out, you want the surface nice and clean. And I like to use just Varsol. And just pour a little bit of Varsol onto the surface. And then I have a Indian stone made by Norton. And you just quickly lap the surface take down any high spots and I like using Varsol and I only use a stone for lapping I like to use Varsol because Varsol when it gets into the stone it doesn't freeze and snap it in the winter and I keep this stone at home and I'm not getting uh, aggressive with it just a quick lapping and then I like to wipe the excess off. And that'll give a nice flat surface to measure anything off of. There you go. So it's nice and flat. There's no bumps. So first off, we have my fence that we just welded up. And I have three points of pickup. So that was machined at one point and that was machined and this was machined. I really want those all to be flat so I just give them a quick little
And that's good enough. So now I have the fence. It's got some pretty flat points here. The table's nice and flat. And then I'm just going to use a vernier. A vernier will do a good enough job. Anyway, I want to know how high that point is, how high this point is, how high that point is, and how high that point is from the base. So, with a vernier measurement, just a quick one, I'm getting 2.18 2.185 and I'm going to assume that this one is at the same point and this piece here is at 4.650 and the last little nub here is at 2.785. So just to quickly write down those numbers, one this back one was at 2.785. The front ones were at 2.185. So the difference between the two of them is 600 thousandths of an inch. And so I got 2.785. 185 and 2.785 so with a difference of 600 and the height of that nub being raised up is 4.660 so I'm going to write down the 4.6 60 so now, I want to set this upside down to measure and see how flat that weld ended up coming out. So I have to pick up the three points upside down on the table. So I need to add 600 thou more to these front two legs, but I need the total height to be taller than that leg. So with that difference and adding the clearance on, if I add two and a half inches to the front leg on both front legs and 600 thou less, so 1.9 inches to that back leg, these three points of pickup will be level, or not level, but parallel to the table. So with a gauge block set, what you need to do is we're going to need a two and so we're going to pull out from the gauge block set with the two inch gauge block. We're also going to pull out the half inch. So that'll give us two and a half on one of the front legs. So we need another two and a half. So, and for the back we needed 1.9. So I'll pull out the one and the 0.9. So 1.9 and then we need another two and a half. So If I pull 950 and then and 
700. I have two stacks of two and a half inches. So I can close this up. And put it away. And then with the two stacks of two and a half inches, I want to set them up like so. And the third one there. And then by picking up those three legs, that makes that the bottom totally parallel to the table. So then I'm going to get just a, a surface gauge, and that I'll use that to adjust an indicator. And then I have my old plunge indicator set. I'm going to pull the indicator out of there. And install it. And bring it roughly down to the height. There's a fine adjustment in the uh, indicator stand so once I get it close I just make sure everything's all nice and tight and then I'll just bring it down and I know the two ends should be the same based off the table so I'm going to just bring it down touch a zero here so not sure if you can see the zero or not, but it is it is set. There we go. So we see a zero reading there. And as we travel across to, towards the weld, eh, that's 14th thou jump. And I don't want to drive across the weld. So 10th thou there. And then I want to go over to the other side of the weld. And it becomes negative 2 thou. And then back to the feet. And it's negative 2. And the other foot is negative 2. So, just as a little recap, it starts out at zero there, it rises 14 thou, then just on the other side of the weld, it's back to zero. And the back side, it's pretty good too. Anyway, sorry, the video was a little longer than I expected. Thanks for watching.